Oh, shalom, shalom, Rastafari. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. This is your brother, Wendem Yadon, Ras Yadinos Tafari of the Lion of Judah Society, Moa Andesa, the M Negeda Yehuda Machiber, Church of Rastafari. Yes, my brothers and sisters, we just got these books in. I said, let me just, I've been waiting and expecting these books for a while. Um, S by S, um, little by little, in Kulal the Igru, Yeheda. In other words, little by little, even a chick, even, even, even uh, an egg, rather, walks. In other words, I gave it away there. So it's an Ethiopian um, an ancient saying, it's according to the Hebrew idiom. Little by little, an egg walks upon his foot, you know, like a, a chick begins to crack through that that shell as as it grows. It's like watching the caterpillar. And this is I and I. This is I and I time. This is that time of the transformation from the the lower degrees to the higher degrees but we have to build our house on that foundation founded on that rock and the rock is the word the living word so we have to hear the word we have to read the word we have to study the word we have to memorize the word and then we can meditate it there's, there's some very important keys that we want to share and this also helps to direct us when we decide on what books do we need to print, what books do we need to publish. So we're going to give you these particular books, and this is this is the, the foundation, our our Torah, our our core, our our reference materials coming from our own root and our source. So when we say we are Hebrews and we are Jews. In the true Yehuda sense, the Mo Andesa Zen Negeda Yehuda sense, we can have the evidence and present the evidence, you know what I'm saying, to prove it as well as have the tools to 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 rebuild, you know what I'm saying, to to repair the breach and to renew the way to dwell in, because we're living in perilous times, my brothers. Sisters. So, without much further ado, mm -hmm. let's touch on um, this one here. Now, this is the Didascalia. Now, I know we published previously the Apostolic um, Constitutions. Let's see if we have it here. We have it right here. The Apostolic Constitutions. You probably recall this. You probably recall this right here, the Didiscalia, the Didiscalia, the Apostolic, um, the Ethiopic Apostolic Constitutions. Now, we publish now, we have this particular book right here, which is the Ethiopian Didiscalia, or what we call the Ethiopic version of the Apostolic Constitution. So, these are two books here. Now, this is the new book right here. This is the previous book that we published, and you can find this at www.lojsociety.org. Now, the particular value of this book, right, and we have some notes right here on this particular book. This is a companion book to the previous book, and this particular value is that's part of the ancient manuscripts, part of the ancient manuscripts. Now, the difference between the two is that this particular one, which is the Apostolic Constitution, the Ethiopian Apostolic Constitution, this particular book is a good and a full, complete translation in the English language, right? Uh, this is the value of this particular book, the previously published book. Now, this one, which is the new book, and we just basically, we haven't even had time to really sit down and really just just enjoy the book and, and, and get the value out of it. But we recognize, and following the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, 
we, we recognize that there are some books, certain books, within the time that we have to repair this breach and renew the liberty, the true liberty of true Rastafari, we as the elect, the Haruyan of the Ethiopian Hebrews, there are some documents that are take a priority. In other words, and this is one of the documents that take a priority. Now, the value of this is that, as you can see, let's give you a, 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 a look at it. You can see it has the Ethiopic, the is there, and then it has a translation below. Now, this actually is by um, Platt, Platt, right? This is by Platt. This is by one named um, Thomas Pell Platt. And this was um, translated, this was translated in part, um, 1834. So we have the first part of the Ethiopic or the Gutters Apostolic Constitutions or the Didascalia. The Didascalia is called in the West, but it's Bamarinya, the pronunciations, Didascalia, the Didascalia. So this has the the manuscript, but this here that we previously published is a full translation of the manuscript, but here we have an earlier version which has the first part of the manuscript. So this is this is the one we call this. This is both on the Ethiopic literature, but this is ancient manuscripts because it has the actual manuscript. And for students, for the disciples, you understand, who are moving forward in their studies. The good is, is contained in here. The good is and part of the translation, um, a majority of it, but not fully. And it's this later work right here that is a complete English translation. So in the order of priority, we will say that this particular book would be first. This one right here, the one that we published first. And this one is more for a higher school or a higher grade, you understand, a higher grade because of the Ethiopic. But still, as far as manuscripts, documents, these two documents go together. And this is in the category of apostolic constitutions. The first one was um, Ethiopic uh, Didascalia, um, the apostolic constitutions and Ethiopic church orders as translated by J.M. Harding and the newly published work by the society in the book the book club is the ethiopic version of the apostolical constitutions in the Gutters and the english so this is this is new newly published these two particular books right here well let let, let us show you first first one first is this one right here right all right. All right. Classic black cover. This is the classic black cover version, right? And remember this has the this has the the the, the good is or the Ethiopic manuscript as well as an English translation. So this is actually the earlier work right here. This is newly published right here with the good is text. And this is the complete apostolic constitutions with some very good footnotes and references by J. M. Harding. This is the first one that we published, the Ethiopic Didascalia. All right, the Didascalia Christian knowledge. All right, so get your copy today from the L. O. J. Society. www. LOJSociety.org. Shalom Rastafari.